Shout out to Freshwater Fish Facts and Fun. Please check out her channel. The link is above and in the description. Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be giving you all the information you need to know about the Cardinal Tetras. Please consider sticking around to the end so you don't miss out on any of the important info that you need to know before you do buy your first Cardinal Tetras. So without further ado, let's get started. Cardinal tetras are eye-catching popular aquarium fish. They are related to the well-known neon tetra that you might be more familiar with, but cardinals are much more hardy. If When you introduce them to the aquarium, cardinals kind of know their way around much quicker than the neons, and they won't get sucked up by the filter easily if you do have a strong flowing filter. You will need uh, sponge filters or any small filters for these fish, no, nothing are really strong or else they will get sucked up by it and they're, they're not the strongest fish. Uh, these uh, fish need a minimum tank size of 20 litres, 5 gallon. But if you do have more than 6 carnal tetras in the aquarium, you're best off having a 40 litre, 10 gallon aquarium or more. Uh, these fish require soft water and a pH of 5 to 7.5 so they have quite a large range. You can have them these fish in black water as well. I'm not really too sure what black water is really, but it's basically really soft water. They require temperatures 20 from 22 degrees up to 26 degrees, which is 71 to 82 degrees Fahrenheit. These fish are great centerpiece fish for your aquarium. If you just have like a 400 litre aquarium with about 100 cardinal tetras. It's gonna be great with only cardinal tetras. It's gonna look amazing. So cardinal tetras are schooling fish. And if you don't have less, if you don't have more than five cardinal tetras, then most likely your uh, lonely cardinal tetras will start getting shy in the aquarium and will hide. And they will probably lack their eating and they won't and if they do do that for a while then they could die from hunger or from not eating they you want your cardinals to be healthy so having them in schools is best and they feel more comfortable as well these fish don't require a, a varied diet but you do want to feed them some frozen foods every once in a while flake food tropical flake foods are fine pellets algae wafers they'll basically eat anything left over from the tank so they'll just kind of stay at the bottom and uh, once the food sinks down to the bottom they will kind of just munch on it uh, these fish are compatible with any other te small tetras that are peaceful these guys go great with cory catfish as you can see here or some danios resboras any of those really peaceful aquarium fish they can even go with bristlenose plecos even uh, live bearers even they go great with live bearers especially guppies they look amazing with guppies but basically they're very peaceful and will go with any other peaceful community fish so i definitely recommend these fish for your aquarium if you're just starting out in the fish hobby Thank you so much for watching. I hope this was the video you were looking for. I definitely recommend these fish for you once again, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.